Hello, I thought I'd do a update video on my Amiga 1000 I've been working on. Since the last video, I picked up a drive and a bracket. And uh, actually all I really wanted was the bracket, but it came with the drive, so can't complain, I guess. I picked up a mouse, the proper mouse. And uh, the repair I did was I replaced this chip here. I put a socket and fixed all the traces because they were shorted out. And uh, once I got that done, I put it all together and uh, I could get to the white screen, but it would just hang there. It would never, never move beyond it. So I pulled all the chips out. They could be pulled from a socket and I have some of this stuff here. It's called deoxid and it's really good stuff. It's for deoxidizing the pins. I cleaned all the pins off. I bent them all so they would have some tension when they went back into the sockets. And uh, when I fired it up, it came up to the kickstart screen. So that's the extent I've had to do to it so far, other than just doing uh, cosmetic stuff. You know, I cleaned up the case parts. And they actually cleaned up quite well, considering what it looked like before. But, uh, the way I'm getting video to my monitor, I got a 17-inch Dell monitor. Is I bought a uh, one of these GBS 8200 boards off of eBay. And you can get them for less than 20 bucks. And uh, for the price, I you know I really can't complain. I managed to. I got a 3D printer available to me at work, so I found a case for it and printed it out. But anyway, the, when I originally hooked it up, I used the cable, came with it, and I didn't have a real whole lot of success with that. The uh, It was having a hard time sinking, and it was jittery and just very unstable. And so I did some research, and uh, I ended up taking a VGA cable, and cutting it off, and uh, the thing I didn't do the first time is on the composite sink line, you need a 680 ohm resistor to bump the voltage down because the, the voltage the Amiga puts out far exceeds the maximum input voltage of the chip on the board. So once I got that taken care of, it seemed to work fine. I'll go ahead and fire it up here. It's amazing how long the delay initialized it was. There's the noise, and then uh, got my kickstart. The dog thinks it's great. The incessant clicking of the drive, so it's searching for a disk. I have an old floppy laying around. It does actually try to look for the kickstart. Since it's not a kickstart disk, obviously it doesn't find it, but it appears that everything's working up to the, this point. I did get a GoTech, but I'll make a different video on that because it's not been cooperative and I I still haven't gotten it going, so that's a whole other story there. So I'll make a video on that once I get that figured out. But uh, up till now, this is where I'm at, so. I'll keep you updated as time goes on. Thank you.